That's right. I'm here with Rick Boyd at Bruforia Beer Market and Kitchen. We're in Incline Village, of course, and this is getting some really rave reviews lately. Talk about your history a little bit, how long you've been open here in Incline, and then, of course, we'll talk about the elephant in the room back here, 500 beers. Yeah, so Reforia has been open here in Incline for about nine weeks now. Um, it took us a little longer than we anticipated getting open due to some construction delays, but everyone knows how that goes. This isn't your first rodeo. No, right? you've been in, you've been in the in the industry before Incline Village. Yeah, so originally Reforia started in Boise, Idaho, in 2008. Uh, we had three Reforias there before we uh, sold those to open a brewery, and then sold the brewery and relocated to uh, to Incline uh, about two and a half years ago. And and uh, so we've uh, we've got uh, a lot of experience in beer. We've been in the beer business a long time. Um, we're one of the founders of, uh, of kind of the craft beer movement. In the in the we were at one time the largest online shipper of beer in the country. Wow. Um, we don't we no longer uh-huh. ship uh, just because things change. But mm-hmm. uh, well, you picked a good spot to come hunker down for a little while. Incline Village, right? Lovely place for all the folks in and around the Tahoe region watching right now. Describe the concept and what you've got going here. So we we really wanted to make it possible for people to get greater access to the beers that they may or may not have an, a chance to try in other places. Yeah. So that's why we have such a large selection, a little over 500 beers in the cooler and 12 rotating handles every time a keg blows, something new goes on. And, so, and we're always trying to bring something new and exciting to the table so that people yeah. can uh, broaden, their, uh, broaden their understanding of what beer is. Right. There's so many different flavor profiles files now from sours becoming big to obviously the IPA is one of the biggest now but just so many things to dabble in and you can just go one by one you don't have to commit to a whole six pack correct yeah you can all mix and match uh, and, and they are available to have here while you're having dinner or lunch or uh, grab a mixer and take it up uh, to the hill for the uh, for the afternoon yeah. uh, or out on the lake if it's the summertime yeah for the folks visiting here this weekend uh, I mean you've got all the local beers but then you've got the, the ones that go really into depth and what, I mean where do you who do you order from what, what's the process a little bit to get some of these very select beers there's uh, about a dozen different distributors that we deal with on a weekly basis uh, it, it can be a little overwhelming when they send you over a list of uh-huh. a few thousand beers and you have to sort through them uh, it, there's definitely a process in ordering and maintaining the inventory and making yeah. sure the beer is fresh uh, but, but again it's not your first rodeo you've been doing it for years since about 2008 right exactly yeah, that's cool. exactly so how can people find out more is it social media is it website what do you update first uh, Facebook is usually our, our go-to but our Instagram account as well as our Twitter feed are always pretty live anytime we get something new in we make sure we post it up anytime we have some special event like happy hour or wings day or fish Friday uh, those all get updated on our Facebook page and then trickle out from there and he's, he mentioned some of the specials right there we'll be talking about more of the food on the next segment we're gonna head over to the kitchen side of things here at Brewforia beer market and kitchen in Incline Village back to you guys